Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to go over the initial things that you need to succeed in this course. Then I'm going to talk about the mindset of a successful blogger. After that, we'll touch on how to find a name and also finding a color scheme for your blog. You'll need to get a Canva account before you start the course because we'll be using that for most of our graphics. You'll also want to set up a Gmail account with Google because you'll need that for your Google Analytics. And then finally, you'll need to set up a couple of social media accounts so that you can promote your blog. So what do you need to be successful in this course? Well, first off, you need a business idea. You need something to start with. You're going to also need a business name. What are you going to call your blog? You'll need to sign up for a web host, and I will go over that in detail later on. You'll also need to sign up for an email list provider if you don't already have one. And finally, you'll want to make sure that you have a Canva, a Gmail, and a few social media accounts. Now, let's talk about the mindset of a successful blogger. So what exactly does that look like and how can you set yourself up for success? Well, one of the most important pieces of advice before starting a blog is really knowing your why. Why do you want to start this blog? Think about all the vision that you have for your life and for your career and determine how this particular project will fit into that vision. For example, maybe you're really passionate about dog grooming and you really want to share that passion with an audience. Or maybe you want to start a business that allows you to live with a little more freedom. Or maybe you're just not happy with your current situation. Or maybe you just want to earn some money and that's perfectly fine. Whatever drives you, that's your why. Whatever that motivation is for you, just keep it in the back of your mind as you move forward. In addition to your motivation, a really good dose of discipline is even more important. Maybe you don't really feel particularly motivated to commit to a daily blog. So make it a monthly blog or post each week. But just don't give up because failure comes when you stop. Your blog may not have as much traffic as you want or maybe not as much influence as you want or it may not have as much revenue as you want. But those things can always be improved later on. That's just part of the process. You only fail if you give up. So if you start with that really strong motivation and your why, then follow through with some actual discipline, your blog will be a success. Now, if money is one of your motivations, your blog's going to be a business and it deserves to be treated like one. And of course, like any new business, there's gonna be setbacks, there's gonna be ups, there's gonna be downs. And of course, it's gonna take time and effort to grow this blog. So make sure that you're prepared and you understand that. And just like any other business, you're selling something of value for money. So it's helpful to think of your revenue model not as monetizing your blog, but it's providing a valuable product or a service that improves the lives of your customers or your clients. And this makes all the difference in the world when you're growing your business. You want to shift your focus from just lining your pockets to actually providing something people are willing to pay you for. So you also want to figure out who's going to read your blog. Is this going to be for stay-at-home moms or people that are trying to diet? You want to make sure your blog is focused on who is going to be your audience also. You also want to look at the type of impact that you want to make. If you ask any well-known blogger, they'll probably tell you that they're pretty embarrassed by their earliest blog posts. But that's okay. The best way to improve your writing is just to write. You also want to make sure you have time to blog. Make a schedule, whether it's once a day, once a week, once a month. And we'll go over this in more detail in another lesson. Also keep in mind, where will your blog be in a few years or even next year? You wanna look at the big picture. Set goals for your blog. The next thing we wanna look at is your blog name. You wanna make sure you choose a pretty unique name, but don't make it too hard to spell or pronounce. You also wanna avoid copyrighted words. No one wants to get their blog taken down because they forgot to check the copyrighted words. You also want to avoid abbreviations or slang words. Make it super simple for someone to find you. And once you've found a couple names, make sure you write them out. See if they spell anything weird. Now, if you're having trouble choosing a name, there's a couple of different sites that you can go to that will give you some inspiration and some ideas. One of them is Bust a Name. Another one I like to use is called Panaby. And lastly, Name Mesh. I use Name Mesh a lot. I'll leave the links down below in the description. But before you decide on that name, you should make sure it is available on all social media platforms. It will make it much easier for people to find you if you use the same name across all the sites. 
So we need to go to a site called namechecker.com. I'm going to look for Canva Creatives, which is my newest idea for helping people get better acquainted with canva.com. So when I type in the name that I want to use, I'm looking for all green check marks. This shows me that the name is available as a user ID on that social site. The first one I'm interested in is the .com. If it is not available, which is indicated by a red circle crossed out, I usually try a different name. If you prefer to go with a .net or a .co or something else, that is fine too. But .com is usually the first choice if it's available. Then I want to make sure the other sites also have green check marks. I'm only concerned with the major ones like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Tumblr, and even Google+. Although you may not want to be on all of these sites, it is good to have at least three other sites to promote your content on. I always come to namechecker.com before choosing a new domain. It makes it much easier than having to go to each site and check the username availability, or even worse, buying a domain and then having that name already taken on all the social media sites. Remember, it may take a few tries to find one that has all the green check marks, so keep checking if the first one is taken. Next on our list is colors. You definitely want to make sure you have really nice colors for your website. There's a few sites that I look at when I'm looking at new colors. Coolers.net is a really good site. Adobe has some really good features on their site and color palettes. Also, if you are really just needing some inspiration and don't know where to start, Pinterest is a good place. And last up, we need to make sure we get our accounts ready to go. We are definitely going to need Canva. It's a free account and it will help you with your graphics. First, we're going to go to canva.com and you need to decide how you're going to sign up. You can go through your Facebook account, through a Gmail account, or through your email. I'm just going to use my email account this time. So once you have everything filled in, then you hit sign up and choose what it is you're going to be using Canva for. Then it opens up your dashboard. There aren't any designs here yet because it's a brand new account. But pretty soon you're going to be adding a ton of templates and designs and it'll fill up your page quickly. You need to have a Google account in order to sign up for Google Analytics and it's pretty simple. All you need to do is go to gmail.com and create a new account. If you already have a Gmail account, you will just click the sign in with a different account and then choose create new account. And lastly, choose two or three different social media platforms to create. Your social media marketing strategy will determine which accounts you will create. I'm going to make a new Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram account. Just keep in mind the social media platforms that you'll want to use to promote your website. The five big ones are Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. But you can choose any two or three that you want. 